Hi everybody, welcome back to Super Time. We're going to be doing more Slug Terrace Slug It Out. Uh, we're going to be doing more Story Mode because we are just two chapters away from beating Story Mode. So we're going to be doing Chapter 10 now, uh, Deep Storage, where when we beat this chapter we'll be getting our first uh, fusion shot. So first we'll fight another auto cannon. So auto cannon versus auto cannon. And he, this one has a nega shade, so he'll be able to affect our board a little bit if he actually finds time to fire it. And he's charging it pretty quickly, so it looks like he might. Uh, yeah, okay, so he fired at level 1. Not very smart, but whatever. So you can see it's blocking uh, the bottom left of my uh, board right now. Um, it's random where it happens, but uh, that just did not work out well for him because I just ignored it basically. But it lasts a lot longer when it's level 3. It's smarter to probably fire it at level 3 or at least fire a lot of sh quick level 1s, but it's a computer so it's not going to really do anything smart like that. So we'll just fire a... there we go, hit him with a burpee. And now well, we just need to charge up something that'll do some damage. He also has doubly own, which is really good. Reflect my uh, own shots back at me, but peers don't seem to really care what I do. They just fire on their own, so peers aren't particularly good with bubbly own because the idea is you want to fire it when someone fires a really good shot, so you can shoot it back at them. Okay, we'll be fighting two of the Doombots now. Doombot's one of my uh, favorite style of characters in here. Might even think about using Doombot in Chapter 11. Let uh, the auto cannon retire for a little while. Eh, he doesn't have anything special, just Ramstone, Granuke, Flatralinkus, and uh, Arachnid. Three. Alright, well, oh. he has a lot of health it looks like. A level 3 burpee did like, I guess a quarter of his health. Let's freeze him to slow down his charge. Oh, never mind. Now we got a couple bombs to deal with. Let's just get rid of those. There we go. You'll want to get rid of those or they'll do some damage to you. Not a whole lot, but it adds up. Wall did not. Your uh, frost wall will not stop uh, Ramstone if uh, Ramstone's shield's still up. It will go right through it. Doesn't matter what level he is or what level your wall is. Come on, they're going so slow. Hmm, don't know if I'm going to three star this one. Depending how close it is, might just go back and uh, do it. We'll, we'll find out. Ah, oh, we have a uh, X Meter. X Meter is nice and annoying. When uh, you fire X Meter, it like locks specific uh, slugs um, as it travels, so it doesn't even have to hit you. Come on, unfreeze! Ah. When you're frozen, you do, or when the opponent is when the opponent is frozen, it uh, damage is halved or so. So, it's best not to hit him when he's frozen. I was trying to time it, but didn't time it well there. Yeah, I think we're going to have to just redo this match and try and three start, because we're tryhards here. But let's see if, maybe it was a two minute one. Ah, it wasn't. 145, mile. we were going slow and still could have been fine. Alright, well... Let's just get Frostcrawler out and switch it over for Taserling. Mm, no, let's let's do the rematch. We're not gonna let a couple of Doombots uh, beat us. It'll be a lot faster now. Frostcrawler, while good, kind of slows down the matches because he doesn't really do damage, and he also makes the damage less when the person's frozen. So. And we don't need that. He's he's really good at if the match is really hard for you because he's good at blocking stuff, but 
not too worried about this match. Okay, we're going a lot faster this time. We almost beat him already. Let's see if we can charge up something to level 3. Well, that should be enough, actually. Uh, just a few P shots. Lost to a blaster shot. Alright, let's fight the upgraded version. He just has some damage in Hexmitter. But we'll just keep him drained. Oh, we need some burpee tiles dropping. Oh, there's some. Let's get that matched. enough? Yeah, there we go. Okay, see? Wasn't too hard to three-star. Didn't even need a booster. Just need to have a slightly better uh, loadout for winning fast. Yeah, we got a hundred or so coins. Not bad. We need all the coins we can get. Fusion shots are a little expensive. Okay, let's fight a turret now. so still and unmoving. At least my guy bounces around a bit, but a turret. So lifeless. I'm not even shooting blaster shots right now. It also is a booster equipped right now. Shots I think go faster with that? Yeah, I think that yeah. So just gonna try and snipe me out, but he's not even charging that fast. This isn't this isn't too bad of a battle actually. Alright, come on. Burpee? Yeah. Let's go. That might be enough. We might have won. Okay, that was easy. Mm, no, not right now. Alright, well, we're almost halfway through. Oh, bunch of creeps. Let's beat them up. Ramstone, Taserling, Fandango. It's actually not too bad. Don't know why he's doing, uh, he's just shooting level ones. Not a big deal. Just ignore those. Alright, let's drain those slugs now. And he's charging fairly fast, even with the drain. It's... Okay, let's just stun him. And hurt him. Let's see, will we hit him before he unstuns? Ah, oh, so close. Okay, well, almost. It was a gamble. Okay, well, now let's win. Alright, that should be another three stars. Hope so. Any, any. Yeah, okay. Just be mean if you had to do less than a minute for some of these. Counter five. We're halfway there. Nah, he has a frost crawler. I might slow this down. Guess it depends how fast he charges. A level two Xmitter, so that could also mess with us. Really just wow, he's charging fast too. I see it's locking those two. Okay, locking all of those. Whenever the green thing's over top of it, I can't fire it. Makes him really good slug. A little random, but usually he's gonna block something that you'd rather not block. And you don't even have to hit with him. Although it is better if you hit. The further he goes, the better it is. 
Let's just try and beat him as quickly as possible. Oh, stop that. Oh, that x meter is annoying. Okay, well, whatever. Go, Burpee. Just win it. There. That's what happens when you don't fire level 3s. And now we have our own x meter so we can be just as annoying. But we'll have to be annoying later, I think. Yeah, he has Frightgeist. That's fun. Ah, Frightgeist and uh, Mako Breaker. That's an interesting mix. You can fire Frightgeist to which he's doing. Here, when it hits, it'll force me just to fire everything I have. And any matches I make, it'll force me to fire until I'm no longer in his, like, panic mode. Which wasn't really a big deal for me, but it's good at preventing uh, people from getting to level 3. And if you can get them to fire a bunch of level 1s and 2s and you have something like Mako Breaker that's level 3, you can just eat it all up and then get super strong. So, the idea was there, it just didn't happen. It's also good with Ramstone, because Ramstone can go through two level 3s, so you can force them to fire their level 3s and you just counter with the Ramstone. Another Frostcrawler. Let's try and beat this fast, though. Good, he's not doing a level 1, so there's still time. hit and fire our own super slot ah, nuts okay well he says walls down I guess coverbug shots are uh, really interesting because having that like wind portal thing uh, teleport your stuff uh, across the board can really make for some interesting interactions but we still win Especially with Arachnid, because you can slow down the other person's slugs and try and time it where you can jump past them. A lot of the other slugs have some really interesting interactions. Oh, Boss Ember. The, the leader or owner of this junkyard that we're in. Alright, let's see how tough he is. Ah, he has the level 3 x meter. And an Eggshade, and a Granuk, and a Hoverbug. Wow. He has three things that do stuff as it travels. He has one thing that gets them across the board faster, so that's a pretty good uh, mix. So I guess it just comes down to if I can hit him hard enough, fast enough. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of blaster tiles here. I don't really need them. Oh, and then there's the bombs. Well, let's just get rid of those four. Don't have time to worry about all five. So this one's gonna do some damage. And the board's blocked. You can see the the decent combo that is using x meter and Grenuke. It just kinda puts bombs all over the place and then you can hide those bombs. But, we're gonna win again. Yeah. That actually wasn't too hard. It was an interesting mixture of slugs, though. Well, let's... Now we get to beat up uh, Trash. I guess that's us looking for the part we need, or... I don't know. Maybe there was a collapse and we need to break through it, but... Either way, this uh, encounter is all about just shooting stuff at garbage. An easy way to explore... Uh, any new slugs you have, because you can just quickly fire level 3s by matching uh, 5 tiles. But we're not really using anyone you We're using the, the same old ones, because they're really good. And this is about uh, going through the chapters. Soon we'll care more about the slugs when uh, story mode's over. Oh, looks like we found whatever that thing we were looking for is. This whole time we're looking for a crystal.
All right, time for the final fight against the the bigger bosser Ember. Er. Think we're fine with this load up though. He has got this this far. Angry boss Ember. Now he's mad, and he's not using all of his other uh, interesting slugs. He's basically using starting loadout. Minus Flatulinkus, which is a mistake on his part. But he also can get them fast with the uh, Hoverbug. But if he's not going to fire them at level 3, it won't matter. Okay, we got him stunned. Let's charge the rest up. And we might be able to just beat him right now. Oh, I think we won. Oh, ah, almost. That frost crawler, always slowing down the matches. The one time you want a lot of blaster tiles too, it's not even here. It's like a level 2 wall, so it'd take like 6 hits. Uh, there's fire. There, that should be enough. Oh, no, he countered one of them. Come on. Oh, frozen now. Screw it, there we go. Oh, come on. Okay. He's getting tricksy. Ah, another frost wall. There we go. Beat him with a, uh, a blaster shot. Best way to win. Alright, our blaster now is double barreled. Has its weird crystal thing, I guess. And now we can do the fusion shots. Got Nova Bolt, the burpy taserling uh, shot. Four grand. All right, and it looks like there's a lot of fusion shots here. Oh, it's probably because uh, the slug extravaganza thing. There was a pop up for that earlier. So those weren't there before. Super Slug Extravaganza Day 3. Okay, so they're probably here just for a while. They like to... There's a lot of hidden slugs that show up once in a while each weekend. This is probably just all of them. Well, maybe I'll just get a bunch of coins and try and get all of them. But anyways, that was this episode, so I'll see you guys in the next episode where we beat Chapter 11. Bye, everybody!